when you're going for interview, the most important issue that you need to come to grips with is how do you stay in job interview? How do you keep getting invited back for a second and a third and a fourth discussion? The reality is most companies now will interview you up to six times before they officially make you a job offer. And this can mean meeting with various people in the company, often initially with the gatekeepers, the people who assess you for cultural fit. And it can take some time before you're actually in front of the most senior people in the organisation who are ultimately going to decide whether you're going to be hired for the role. And they have the power, obviously, to veto your appointment. The mistake a lot of candidates make is they... Um, assume it's relatively easy to get brought back for second and third interviews and the reality is quite different. It's quite competitive. The company is usually interviewing a group of other candidates at the same time and each round of the interview process is highly competitive and you have to make sure that you're saying all the right things. A mistake that you can often make is you can be too transparent, too frank, uh, sharing too many of your own personal insights before you've even got to the final stages of being offered the job. So it's really important you keep your own counsel during the recruitment process and that includes also with the headhunters. So a big mistake a lot of people make is they go for the interview, then they ring up the headhunter and say, oh, well, look, I didn't like this and I didn't like that and I'm not really sure about this and that and um, I've got another job opportunity on the go and I'll see how that goes and they make the mistake of thinking you can be incredibly honest with the headhunter. Of course the headhunter has often got other candidates in the mix that are being uh, considered for the role and of course they want to end up with a fee at the end of the day, they want to end up with a successful recruitment process. So if they find a candidate is not as interested in a role as another candidate that they've shortlisted they will start to favor that candidate in the recruitment process and you may have made the most basic simple offhand comment to the recruiter but that's enough for the recruiter to now position another candidate more strongly and if they sense that you are leaning towards another job opportunity and they've got other strong candidates in the mix, they will start to favour them and they'll start to talk more favourably about those candidates to the company. So remember, you've really got to keep your own counsel if you want to stay in the interview as long as possible. Now, there's a number of reasons why you want to do this. Number one, you're going to meet more senior people towards the end of the process. Number two, you're going to be more informed about the company, the people you would have met through the process, all of this creates a better opportunity for you to make an informed decision about that organisation. Um, recruitment processes will often result in resignations during the course of the recruitment process. Different roles can come up. Roles can be merged with each other. So even if the role initially might be uh, not enough scope or not enough seniority or not enough interest for you, it's worthwhile sticking through the recruitment process because at the end of the day, a role could be cultivated and created around a certain candidate with a certain set of skills and experiences. So I'm not suggesting that you tell any porkies, but be very careful about what inf information you're sharing with all the key decision makers throughout. And it's a much better scenario to be super positive. I'm really enjoying the conversations. I would love to come back for another interview. I would love to explore this opportunity further versus saying something like, I'm not 100% sure on the company. Uh, it doesn't sound like the role's going to be interesting enough for me. I don't think there's enough of a challenge in the role for me. And if you're relaying those more negative comments, you're going to get exited from the recruitment process early, whereas you really want to stay in the recruitment process as long as possible to give yourself the best possible chance of being offered the position.